Hi everybody, this is Roxy and I have a Dollar Tree haul. Um, <clears throat> I haven't been there for a while. I'm trying to stay out of stores. I've been doing very well. I went to Hobby Lobby on Friday with my neighbor and I did not buy a single thing. All I did was take a little pamphlet on like a craft project kind of thingy, you know. So I'm very, very proud of myself. My friend and I... Betsy Walshevsky, she's on YouTube here. We are having a D-Stash craft supply um, sale here in a couple of weeks. And so going through that, I'm like, I can't buy anything else for a while. Okay, but um, that doesn't mean like AliExpress and where it's really inexpensive and it's not going to kill me. So, but I'm still, I'm cutting back very, very far. Um, because I went downstairs in my art lair and I'm getting rid of half of my paper. I'm going to get rid of half of everything. So I I went through my paper pads and I've got half of them pulled out for the sale. Um, I've got like just every, you know, 12 by 12, 8 by 8, um, 6 by 6. They're all, half of them are all going. I'm going to do that with everything, probably except the dies because... Um, dies and stamps I've always de-stashed, even though I do have some pulled out. Um, so, but she's got tons of punches, some really good stamp sets that I might de-stash for her. And she's got, like if she's got a Prima pack of paper, she's got everything that goes with it. So, if anybody's interested in seeing that stuff for sale here, just let me know and I will do it um, for her. And for you, um, because, okay, Betsy, if you're watching, don't listen, but it made me feel better about myself because, um, because I felt like, oh my God, I'm terrible and this is awful, but she's in the same boat as a lot of us are. Um, I think we just get, we just love paper and, and craft supplies so much. It's, you know, it's a sickness. No, it's, but you know what? I had a friend tell me my neighbor's a pianist and she's like a world class pianist. She studied at the Royal Canadian School of Music or something over up in Canada. And she's 90 some years old. She's taught piano all her life. Um, and she's, she, I had a party here once, a Valentine party. And um, one of the people that came, Everybody wanted to go see my art lair downstairs, so everybody went down there. And this one friend that brought somebody, the somebody said, how can you possibly justify having all that stuff? Is there something wrong with you? And I'm, she was serious, and she's, you know, come to find out she's very um, outspoken and rude, basically. But my friend Jean up the street, the pianist said, you know, us artists need to have everything at hand so that we can be as creative as possible. And, you know, Jean hadn't gone down to see the mess. <laughs> Not the mess, but the, you know. But still, you know, when I, she's, and she even said, she goes, later when we were talking, she said, I don't know how much is down there, but she said, you have to be, have the, you know, supplies ready at hand so you can just be creative and, you know, not worry about stuff. You know, like, I don't know, blah, 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 blah. There's another school of thought where, you know, you're more creative when you don't have all that stuff. I don't know. I don't buy that. I'm on this other side. So, blah, blah, blah. I've got a Dollar Tree haul. I don't even know. Oh, yeah. So why did I get on to Betsy and me having a craft sale? Anyways, I don't know. Oh, because I'm not shopping. That's right. All right, so I bought some of these because I need them for, like, employee timesheets and stuff. But I didn't notice it's these weird ones with the holes, but that's fine. I hope they have pockets. Yeah, they do have pockets. So I got some of those. I like the colors. Got that. All right, and then, um, oh, for crafty stuff, I didn't see, I only want thing of stickers, only because I know I'll use these for, um, what was I putting them on? Oh, my little tablets, my little um, ledger tablets. So I'm, I'm sure I'll use those. I didn't buy any. There's some new ones. I just ignored them. 
I looked at him, I coveted him, and I walked away and ignored him. Ignored him. Um, I did find one of these. I've kind of been hoping for to find one. So they're little hearts. I had another one that had kind of an identity crisis because it had, you know, it showed the tape on here because you really can't see it on there. But it had like a birthday cake and I couldn't even really tell what else. But then over here it had these weird shapes. So it wasn't, it was like, is it birthday or is it geometric shapes? It was really bizarre, so I didn't get it. All right, and washi tape. Now, I'm not going to keep all this. I just got it to show everybody because, you know, you can exchange stuff at Dollar Tree. They don't mind. But this is what's out there. So I won't be swatching all of these. Only the ones that I possibly will keep. So that one's pretty. Good for um, boys and celestial and planetary and New Year's. There's some Hawaiian whatchamacallits. Oh, what are those called? Plumerians? The ones with the little tongue sticking out? That's really cute. That's great for birthdays. So I probably will keep that one. That's really pretty. I like that a lot. But, and it's distressed, which is nice. I'm not going to keep too many. Here's a Bon Voyage. Time, or time. Travel, not time travel, just travel. Alright, and then summertime. That's cool. Goes really nicely with this one, but I don't do summer. Like if you did scrapbooking, that'd be great. But I don't really do specifically summer stuff. I love this. I don't know. That'd be a good guy one. I just like the distressy, scribbly, hand-drawn aspect to it. So that I'll probably keep. I've got um, rub-on stuff on my fingers. Alright, this one's cute. It's very geometric. Another guy. Or if you just like geometrics. Watermelon. I better put this down so you can see them all. Watermelon slices for picnics. This is cute. Uh, canning one. I should have got two of them for my friend. And I didn't think of it till I got out of the store. And technically I could give this to her because she does a lot of um, jams and jellies canning, but... We'll see if we can still find another one. <laughs> that's really cute for quilters, and that's really pretty. I like that. And finally, this is cool, but, you know, that'd be really cool to keep, but I don't know if I'm going to. It is really cute. I've got so much washi, though. All right, so that's that. Let me put these on back. I'll leave them here so you can watch them. Not watch them, look at them. Yeah, watch them so they don't move. Watch these so they don't go into my bins of washi. All right, so then, um, I've talked about this before. I suck on one of these every day because it's just good to get your vitamin C. And they're tasty, so for a buck, I say yeah, yeah. And then they have... I don't recall seeing this last year at all. I've only seen the regular coffee and then the French vanilla coffee. So I'm going to do a taste test on their hot cocoa. And then they also had, look at those chocolate donuts. Oh man. Oh, they look so good. They actually look really fake. The donut does. But, um, Entenmann's is always good. So I'm going to try taste test. I really should do like with a Godiva chocolate one. Maybe I'll do that this winter. Um, okay, then I did get a little kooky at the um, ornament section. Okay, this is an ornament. These are really nice little slippers. Um, they're especially if you have like hardwood floors. Trust me, I. In 2000, I was racing down the hallway to go to the bathroom, and I 
had just regular slippery socks on and I slipped and it was in the hallway and my leg, my right leg went up against the wall of the hallway and I went down this way and I felt and heard my ankle break, like both, both femur and tibula broke. And it was, I mean, I still have pain. I'll always have pain. It was really a bad deal. So wear little rubbery, I've worn them since, wear rubbery little things. Because you don't want to break your leg. And those, those hard floors can get darn slippery. I feel sorry for dogs. When you see videos or whatever, or people's houses, going to people's houses, where it's all hardwood floors and their poor little dog is like, you know, trying to slip around on it. We've got rugs for Sheila just because she really does have a hard time on the slippery floor. Having been a puppy mill dog and a girl from the streets because she just was never used to any of that, you know. And still to this day, if she lays down on the floor, she really has a hard time getting up. So as soon as she goes over there, we're like, no, 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 no. Get back on your bed. All right, so ornaments. I'm really badly. I got my coffee all jolted up today. All right, so these are adorable. They're like a kind of a burlapy canvas. Yeah, definitely burlap. And painted. They had a, it's so cute. I think that's their fuzz coming out. Isn't that cute? I love it. These will probably be for packages. I they oh look at him. Isn't that cute? So they had a snowman and I didn't get him. I should have. I only got one of these. Cause I'm probably gonna put these on either on my craft table just to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit or these I think I'm going to put on packaging or figure out a way to incorporate them in a craft thing. But look at how cool these are. Isn't that cool? These are like really nice. Because I was showing Scrubby, I showed him these and that and he goes, he goes, we don't need no more ornaments. I go, well they're first, you know, I made something up like I'm making up now. They're for a craft sale, you know. But then I showed him these and he goes, oh, that's cool. So got the scrubby approval on that. But I got five of those because I think for sure I'm going to, I have an idea for a project for the um, craft sale that I want to attempt. And I think this would be really cute with it. So there's my hauls. Good advice. I would suggest that. And like I said, these are really nice. I bought some of these last year. And they really are nice. They held up well. Because um, I usually get the Dr. Scholl's one. Um, they have them either, I think Target and Walmart has them. But these are nice. So, um, okay, that's it. I'm not forgetting anything. So, thank All right, I'm inserting this because I forgot about this stuff. These are adorable little kind of drawstring bags for candy and treats. So that's 18 pieces. And they had Frankenstein. I think they had a witch. And then a pumpkin. And I got this for our candy. And then I found this. It's really cute. Little unicorn lights. Isn't that cute? Or no, it's Pretty Pony. Yeah, a little Pretty Pony. Super cute. So I'm just going to string that up on my camper. My little camper thing that I have. So I'm inserting this because I forgot. Blah, blah, blah. And back to the show. Anything. So thanks for watching. And let me know down below. If you would like to see some of the um, de-stashes from Betsy and I, because I certainly will do it. It's, you know, the only problem is that it's shipping is so darn expensive. So we have to incorporate that into this, you know, price. Um, but anyways, let me know if you're interested in that. Plus, um, I forgot about her stamps. She's got uh, Prima stamps. 
stamps, some Unity stamps, and some of those little critter, the Greeting Farm stamps, and like Donna Downey, a lot of good mixed media stuff. So if you're interested, comment down below that you are, and you know, if we get enough people, I'll do it. So um, thanks for watching. Bye.